Hi everyone, you're back in the kitchen with Linda and Bob. Today we are going to show you how to make a, cr a creamy potato and broccoli soup. Now when we make soup, we make it a, as a big batch, a big pot. We love soup and we also like to share it with family and friends. So here I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, what you will need is cubed potatoes. I'm using red potato. I love the flavor of them. And I had prepared them last night and I left them in water overnight in the refrigerator so they would not turn brown on me. And also I have diced carrots. I have about two cups here of that and with the potatoes I have about six to eight cups on that. And then I have um, a cup of uh, chopped, I wouldn't say finely, but chopped onions and then I have two cloves of garlic that is minced. You will also need two containers of chicken broth. I like to get the unsalted. Sometimes I can't always find unsalted or even if it's like um, a lower percentage of salt, that's what I prefer to use. This way I can control the amount of salt that's going into the soup. I also have pepper and salt, which I use kosher for most of my recipes. I have oil and I'm going to need some butter which I will cut into pats and I'll decide exactly how much I need as we're cooking and a little bit of flour. Okay now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle some oil in the pot. Actually I think I probably put close to two tablespoons. If you need more you could always add it after. And now while that's warming up, I'm also going to add some butter. I don't know exactly how much I need, oops, but I'm going to put in probably about two teaspoons right now. All right, babe, if you can just stir that. So now the butter and the oil are now melting in the pan. So now we're going to add the onions. Excellent. Perfect sizzle too. And now what I want to do also is going to add just a little bit of salt. I like to add my seasoning in the beginning, also in the middle, and if I need to, at the end. Pepper. Bob's going to give that a stir. So now what we want to do is we want to sweat down the onions. And honey, if you need to turn the heat up a little more, you can. Yeah, bit. go ahead. Six and a half for now. Okay. And now the next thing he's going to add is he's going to add the garlic and stir that in. And we're having a very windy day here today, and it's pretty cold. Sunny, beautiful, cold. Okay, so now what he's going to do is he's going to cover the pot and we want to just sweat everything out, get them a little more tender, and then we're going to add the next ingredients. Perfect. Okay, the onions and the garlic is doing beautifully. Now Bob's going to add the carrots. Ooh. Okay. And at this point, I like to add in a little bit of parsley. Well, if I can get it open, which I can never do. Thank you, honey. Sprinkle some in for color and flavor. Right, and does it look like we need more oil or are we doing good? Why don't I put two in? I will put a little more. Yes, all right. We'll put a little bit like That's that. Good. That's good. And you know what, honey? I think I'll add just a little bit more butter, too. See, that's the beauty of a uh, soup. It's not an exact recipe, and you adjust it as you go along. Okay, so like with the onions and the garlic, we're going to let those carrots cook out. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add the potatoes, but I just want to show you how nicely chopped these are. They're very small dice, 
I just used a machine to help you with that chopping. And these will cook very fast. So we're not going to put the potatoes in. I don't know how many people straight that out. Got it? Yep. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, everyone, this is how Bob and I cook together. <laughs> this is the real deal. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I want to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on here. That's like a little bit more. I don't like my soup to have that raw flour taste, so that's why I'm adding it in the beginning a little bit so that it can cook out. So now Bob's going to give that a stir. We're going to cover it for a few minutes, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, now it's time to add the chicken broth. You may have noticed that I had two different brands of chicken broth. I just buy what is on sale. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now the chicken broth is in. We've turned the heat up on the stove top, and Bob is stirring everything to make sure it's all combined and now we're going to cover it and when it comes to a boil again what we do is turn it down to a simmer and let it go until all the vegetables are tender. So the soup now has been simmering for close to 30 minutes and there is one more thing I want to add. I bought these baby broccoli florets and I'm going to try to hold them in the camera so you can see them. Um, they're baby broccoli florets. They are perfect cuts, perfect size. I don't really have to do any chopping or dicing. Hopefully you can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them then. How much? Probably about a couple cups. So I'm just going to pour them in. It's going to cool the cooking process. All right, now Bob's going to give it a stir and we'll cover it. And then we'll come back to the next step. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes. I don't want to let it go too long because I don't want to soften the um, broccoli. But what we're going to do now is going to turn off the heat. And now I'm going to add a couple other flavors. I'm now going to add some light cream. Exactly how much, I don't know. I'm going to see what it looks like. All right, honey, if you give that a stir. Oh, that's looking good. What do you Maybe think? a little splash more. more. Okay. Just good. Good. Okay. So we'll start with that. Okay, then the next thing I'd like to do is I want to add a little bit of cheese. I'm not making this a cheesy potato soup, but I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese. Probably a couple good size pinches now, honey, you could stir that. That looks good. Oh my goodness, this smells so good, this soup. And I think I'm going to add just a little more of the light cream. I really do like to have the creaminess to the soup. And it's perfect for a day like today. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. And it smells wonderful in this kitchen right now. So everything is cooked thoroughly through. Every, all the vegetables are tender. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve it up in my bowl. Look at the amount of vegetables in there. Now that is potato soup. Now I'm going to add some cheese to top it off. I'm also going to add some croutons. And of course, more cheese. There. And here you have it, creamy potato and broccoli soup. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and watching Bob and I work together in the kitchen. I also want to thank all my wonderful viewers and subscribers for staying with me and giving me this opportunity to share with you our recipes, our home life, and I appreciate you all, appreciate you all so much, sincerely. And please remember, enjoy life and never stop learning. Take care. Bye now.